Jim Priest is Georgia Tech's kicker, and he's bored. By the time this game is all over, he will have kicked 18 extra points. He bets his teammate a steak dinner that he can kick a ball through the uprights on a kickoff. But then he one-ups himself, and he turns on the Jets. Morris Gouger, while lining up for the catch, smacks into the goalpost. The ball bounces off his head and into Priest's arms. Jim Priest has just caught his own kickoff for a touchdown. Okay, good. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm the best guy ever, and I'm here with my teammates on our team that's going to win the competition. Yeah! Uh, ben Saint, the forward uh, ball handler. Professional sports <laughs> genius, Ben Saint, here, reporting <laughs> reporting in uh, to, with, a, with, a, with a lust for victory. <laughs> uh, 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 Endless Jess, our, our powerhouse power fucker forward. Light nigga, dark nigga, faux nigga, real nigga, rich nigga, rich po nigga, nigga, house, nigga, nigga, house nigga, nigga, feel nigga, feel nigga, nigga, still nigga. Yo, OJ's out, everybody. OJ's <laughs> out. Actually, that's not true. Um, uh, Munchie, the most powerful defensive man in the universe. Psh, boss, I got the I got the opponent's wife in my peripheral. I I have them I have them I have them locked <laughs> locked inside it. I'm ready to pull the trigger whenever whenever the game starts. I'm ready to you know okay. like like I'll shoot them and then the game will start. And they'll be like, wait, I can't play the game. I have to go. My wife was fucking blown. Her head was blown off her uh, fucking good. shoulders. Uh, <laughs> Stand by for orders, Munchie. And lastly, we got a reverse Dominion- JFK situation on our hands here. <laughs> code red, code red. Last, lastly, is our diminutive goalkeeper hypocrite. <laughs> Football is an American colloquialism that is is just wrong. They just got it oh. wrong, and they're wrong, and they they don't know what they're doing. Also, I yeah, love basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, dude. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, there you go. There's our highlight, folks. That's the end. You can leave. Uh, so we're talking about sports today, everybody. We're talking. It's Sports Center uh, it, today. Here we are. Okay, let's 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 settle down and get to our to our our uh, uh, our, our public service announcement from Urban Dictionary. Uh, definition of sports. Okay, oh God, here's a top wait. one. I can't fucking wait to hear this. All right, here's a top one that sucks shit. It's like it's one of those. It's like a dad joke. Sports, America's state-sponsored religion. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, number two is sport. So singular, but this is still good. Uh, the name your dad calls you by that makes you feel like a total loser, which you probably are anyway. <laughs> Synonyms: champ, chief, etc. We're really, we're really getting to the bottom of what sports is. <laughs> <laughs> I know we really are. Um, all right, tell me who's played sports. Who's been a contender me. out there on the field? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I may not look like it, but when I was a little kid, I was, I was a big sports guy. I used to play soccer every single day of my fucking life. Soccer. I wouldn't have guessed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You seem like a football guy to me. Uh, football. American is gay. football. I I love uh, the only thing I'm gonna be able to say intelligently is that I like watching football on TV. I like doing it. That's that's what I, I know about I, sports. I, I played to, soccer I a little bit. All for, I used to do fucking baseball. I used to do football. I used to do all that. I used to do fucking tennis. But mm-hmm. uh, now 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 I'm an esports kind of guy. So I'm just gonna talk about how esports <laughs> is the fucking future and how I'm well, a god. <laughs> That's what I really want to get to yeah. at the end of this. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, let's build up to it. Well, I, I kind of uh, want to talk I, about normal sports as well, mostly. Uh, of course. Of course. I mean, e yeah. is gay. E electronics we can, we can do gay. We can do another episode entirely on esports. Believe That's me, a there's a lot to cover there. There's a lot to go into with my, my was personal the investment. fucking society? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, hang yeah. on. What were you saying, Jesse? You know, when I was a, a little kid, like really young, like five or six or whatever, I was mm. a sports prodigy. This is true. This is a true Whoa. story. I could, I could, I could hit the baseball really far and good. I could like, <laughs> I could throw a hoop from anywhere on the court. I could do like <laughs> trick shots, and then I got a Sega, and that was the end. That was, <laughs> was the end of all of it. Esports. I threw it all away for esports. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst mistake I ever made. <laughs> He's. He he sacrificed uh, being a blast out on the field for all that blast processing. I sacrificed processing. being a black for being <laughs> a blast processing. <laughs> I was like, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's. What about what about uh uh what is it? It's like uh, NBA three on three hoops. You know, or no, it's NBA Jam. 
Like the greatest sports game ever made. I, uh, I, I, I can do one yeah. better. Mario uh, okay. Mario Sports 3 on 3. Hoops. That's kind of what was infecting my Oops. brain there. I yeah. like that game. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That is a good game because it's got White Mage and Black Mage from Final Fantasy in yeah. his character. What about Black Wii Mage is the Sports? Best. What about Wii Sports? The greatest uh, sporting challenge <laughs> on the modern console. Uh, Wii Sports is probably like the, I think, isn't that like the most popular game of all time? It's like, yeah. like number one game most popular with the Wii, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, it, well, it's up there anyway. I do like um, that, but uh, I want to talk mm-hmm. about real sports. I want to talk about when I was a little boy, because okay. we were sort of doing that. Uh, I was I was into uh, like uh, sports because you had to be because you had to do sports for school, and I mm-hmm. was actually very competitive and very very vicious, and I didn't care about. You are a competitive guy. You've got yeah. that beast inside you. I mm-hmm. uh, uh, especially <laughs> like when, when when playing soccer. I wasn't good at passing. I was never good at like a technical like knowing where to 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 kick. But I did know <laughs> that if you kicked people, they would not attack. Uh, they would just back off. And I was a perfect defender. <laughs> so I would I would go around kicking people to to make them cry. And I didn't care. And that's why I didn't have any friends. But I was such a good defender, and nobody would fucking go anywhere near me. And I felt powerful. <laughs> For the and first that was time true and the off last. the field too. Oh, that's it's, damn, dude. It's that's it's effective, it's especially uh, also in basketball. I'm a very small person. I've always been, mm-hmm. um, but in basketball, surprisingly, because of how aggressive and and like I I just don't I don't let up because I just hate people when I'm playing sports. I just I'm you're <laughs> yeah. on the enemy team. You are going to die somehow by my hand. So I would leap up at people, <laughs> even like the black kids who were like really tall. I would just leap right up at them. I obviously look really stupid while doing it, but like they, they, you know, people were scared of how 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 seriously I took attacking. I love I love attacking people. Yeah, I, it's 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 the mental game. You're I dominating. fancied I fancied myself uh, I fancied myself more of a tactician, more of a tactical player than a physical <laughs> player uh, in sports. Of course, you know I played my I played my share of sports in school. Uh, uh, I, I was in I was in like little league baseball or whatever. And like one of my one of my shittiest childhood memories is there was like a big fucking game or whatever. It was like, oh, we were gonna were we gonna win the game or lose the game? Who knows? And I was playing in the mm-hmm. outfield and I was bored and I was looking at the sky and I had to pee. And I was like, man, the game's almost over. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold it until the end of the mm-hmm. game so we can win the game. And then but then time wore on and I just had to oh, pee no. really bad and it started to like hurt. It started to like be physically <laughs> painful. You're my for me. And, and I was and I was like, I can't, I can't, fine. So I like ran in and I was like, coach, let me go pee. And he was like, fine. So I went and peed and then I came back and we had won the game while I wasn't there. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, why didn't I just go earlier or something? But uh, yeah. but on the subject of being a tactical player, being a sports genius. So one day <laughs> in gym class, we were playing like soccer or something. And I was like, I know I can't compete. I know I can't compete with these bullies, with these bullies and trolls and jocks and chads mm-hmm. physically. But I can't compete with their brute strength. But my mind, my mind is sharp like a like a like a whetstone. My mind is keen like a blade. Whetstones aren't sharp, you buffoon. Shut yeah, yeah. so, okay, up. Right. So I so I so I so I I engineered what I called the reverse sneak attack. Wow. Where, wait, which is wait, like wow. attack, which is reverse which is actually the exact opposite of a sneak attack because you loudly <laughs> announce that you are performing a sneak attack while simultaneously not performing a sneak attack. So I was mm-hmm. just dribbling up the field, <laughs> and and a defender and a defender just came up to me, just trying to you know just being do being an internet bully and troll, just mm-hmm. trying to just trying to take the ball from me like a normal idiot. Doesn't he isn't seeing like a brilliant strategy coming his way, and he says he's coming up to me. I just yell and his face as loud as I can sneak attack and then I just kicked the ball <laughs> past him and he was too dumbfounded he was too dumbfounded <laughs> to do a thing <laughs> basically what Reverse I'm saying is the plan attack. worked perfectly and I broke sports forever actually that technique was banned in professional sports because it was too powerful is that um, true yeah. wow Ben you're the coolest uh, yeah, good story yeah. Ben I definitely heard all of it I didn't leave and then just hear the end of it me well, let neither. Me, let me tell you, Ben. I've had to. I've had to contend with some IRL cyber bullies a few times myself on the on the field of battle. Yeah. Let me tell you about one day in the life of a young boy I, where he transcended humanity and became a literal sports god. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this was in middle school sometime, and we were playing this game called Poison Ball. Poison mm-hmm. Ball. It's a dodgeball type game. But instead of having people like restricted to uh, to either side of the field, there are actually there is two active balls at any time, and um, 
Uh, basically, the entire field is in place, so you can run around anywhere and just tag people. And the way it works is, uh, uh, like, just the, the two balls sort of act as, like, opposing magnets. And, like, where one is, uh, basically what you do is you go to where the ball isn't if you've got one, and you just pick off weak people one at a time on the fringes. Mm -hmm. And ev eventually it works down to there's just two people each with the ball, and they just matrix duel each other and try to, like, fake each other out and shit. Okay, so... On an average gym class day, we play this during gym class, of course. On an average gym day, you could get around four of those games in. Let me tell you, on this one day, something happened deep down in my brain's dick, and I became the god. I was a I, I had watched The Matrix recently, so I had internalized their their mad skills. My dodging game was insane. I won three out of four of those games, and I only lost the fourth one. And remember, this is. Everyone against everyone. There's like a, there's like 30 people in this class. All right. I trounced them all. I defeated them all. The only reason I lost the last game was because the two people uh, who got the ball at the very start of the game, before I had a chance to get my hands on it, because that would have turned the tide, they both, they grabbed the balls, they looked at each other, they nodded, and they both marched over to the corner where I was. And and like a fucking hero, I just stood them in the, I looked in the eye and said, just do it! Just do it, you fucking cowards! You can't handle me at my best! You don't deserve me at my worst! That's what I said to them. And then they, they put me down. They, it was like the end of Braveheart. They put me down because they knew I was too fucking powerful. If I had won one more game, I would have literally floated like a god into the heavens and and life would have never and been the same. And they couldn't was... have that. Those jealous bullies just wouldn't just wouldn't allow that. This they? is this is this is them dragging down all of humanity's evolution. It was yeah. like it was like in 2001 Space Odyssey. I was that baby in space and they just they pulled me they they put their hooks in me. They pulled me back down to earth and they they devolved me back into a lowly human being once again. That's what happened, but uh, Typical. I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that Jesus. day. Christ. It, yeah. that, that was like the assassination that of Julius happened. Caesar. Like, everyone's conspiring against you because you were just too <laughs> exactly. fucking powerful. Exactly. It was exactly like that. Uh, I, I have something similar, but but it was mm -hmm. more like... It was more like me asserting my dominance and then everyone, like, deciding that I should be eliminated. A little bit like okay. that. Uh, so we were playing soccer. I was playing soccer. Kind of like I'm happened to Hillary soccer. in the election. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we were playing soccer, and these fucking, these, these fucking, these fucking cowards and these, these children were just mm -hmm. shying up not playing the game correctly. And there was being blues. They were breaking the fucking rules. And, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to allow them to fucking sully the name of soccer. And so I kept, mm -hmm. I kept fucking walking over them and, like, saying, if you don't play the game, Game right, I'm gonna fucking like kill you. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy you and your family. But they 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 just they just fucking wouldn't. They just they just wouldn't. And then I forget what the exact move is. But one of them got it, and and like and like fucking like 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 somehow like 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 they had like fucking like picked it up and then like moved it or something. Something fucking so like okay. obviously mm -hmm. like breaking the fucking rules that that it had to be dealt with. So when they kicked it, I jumped and <laughs> thrown the fucking ball. I caught it in midair, <laughs> slammed on the ground, like like held the ball to my chest, and I screamed the word hell. And this was in fifth <laughs> grade. And so everyone's eyes like locked on me instantaneously because I said a swear word. And then I Whoa. made like I made like a big old speech about how these people need to be fucking driven from our lands because they do not respect <laughs> the sport. And they must be right. fucking eliminated. Because they, they, they do not they do not appreciate the craftsmanship that it has to go in to creating sports rules. And so I just held right. the ball. I just held the ball in my fucking hands, didn't let anyone take it until the, until they were marched off in <laughs> shame and everyone like booed them. Yes, excellent. Justice won this yeah, day. Yeah. By the way, can, can I just can I just also share a quick story about the word hell specifically? Mm -hmm. Just just one time in third. This is in third grade. I was talking to a friend. We were we had just read Animorphs. All right. He had read volume one of Animorphs, and I was gonna read it that night. Hadn't gotten to it yet. And uh, when he said the name of the character Chapman, who I believe was the principal in the book, I Vice, said who, Vice Principal Chapman. That you're exactly right, Vice Principal Chapman. I said this exact word or this exact inflection. Who the hell? Oh, is Chapman. That's exactly what I said. And they immediately were like, Nate, what have you done? They pulled me aside. They called my parents and had them come pick me up because I was disrupting class by being a monster, a little swearing monster, wow. saying hell in the most tortured way possible. Wow. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to be cool so bad. Um, Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. It's so what? funny to me because, like, Hell isn't even a thing. Like even I, I know it's not even a, a swear. But uh, yeah. I, not only that, but I remember like a like, like a little kid. I think it was like like uh, seven or, or ten or something. Like really mm -hmm. young, and he got in trouble for saying fuck. 
and all the t- that happened was the teacher yelled at him and made him like feel bad in front of like a, a class of older kids like yeah, it was our class that? it was mm-hmm. just like he, he said fuck and he got in trouble and he got shouted at and humiliated in front of another class and that was mm-hmm. it it wasn't like yeah, calling parents. Yeah, they called by the... fucking parents and shit. They made it a federal fucking case. That sounds yeah. like much more justice than than <laughs> Nate got. The poor bastard. <laughs> it's true. One time it's I true. was tricked into flipping someone off, and then they got me in trouble. For it. <laughs> I, nice. I was fucking. Were they deceit. playing a mimic game or something? No, uh-huh. dude. How'd, how'd I you remember. Do it? I remember somebody telling me to do that, and I didn't know what it was, and I got in trouble. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened. This this, this fucking stupid, tw- this fucking like 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 virgin for life, fucking uh-huh. like like twig, <laughs> f- like football star. Fuck him, Daniel. Daniel, if you are fucking listening, to this I'm. I never <laughs> forgot about you, and you will be fucking eliminated. You know, you know, Daniel's listening. Yeah, I you know, know Daniel is just seething with jealousy <laughs> that like that you that you became a member of the PCP, and yeah. he was left to flounder. He was left to flounder in his in his pathetic sports stardom and and, yes. and, and, th- and this is what you fucking deserve you stupid piece of shit you know why because in third grade I was sitting next to you and you said hey dude check this out and like 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 okay okay put up put out your fucking hand and then lower all of, like like pull your entire like like make it like a fist but then have your middle finger be out just just just, just try it dude just, just about, wouldn't it be funny if that happened wouldn't that be fucking hilarious if you did that wow. just, just out of the blue one day w- w- wouldn't that be interesting and then I'd be like, "Yeah, dude, that'd be really fucking funny, dude." And then and then I did it. And then he was like, "Hey, teacher, look what Anthony's doing." Oh my god! And then I I was he fucking pummeled. I was beat in the fucking street. I was I was pulled aside. I was putting like a World War One like 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 abandoning your post like like firing squad, right, of blindfolded and fucking executed in front of my entire class. They really brought the horrible hoary hammer of the gods down upon me. <laughs> and I'll never fucking forget you daniel daniel ever ever you and your fucking yacht club <laughs> just just because you just because you can fucking you can count better just, just cuz you fucking read harry potter while i was reading diary of wimpy kid doesn't mean you're fucking better than me all right <laughs> well, doesn't fucking I, mean anything i got to side with daniel on that one but you know <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> you fucking bastard, you fucking train, you fucking Brutus. Yeah, I've just been looking for a chance. I've been looking for a chance to betray him. Uh, uh, okay, let's let's refocus on, on sports, I guess. Uh, uh, what do we got here? Gabe, what, what do you got sports, to say? All right, I want to talk about sports I like, because I, I, I do like yeah. watching a few sports. Uh, not the biggest, biggest ones, but I like watching Wimbledon when that's on, and uh, the mm-hmm. Olympics is always kind of interesting. And uh, you know, horse racing, stuff like that, stuff that's not not horse like the, the most horse popular. Racing? Ho- horse the, well, racing, horse racing, I well, believe. Uh, mm-hmm. The the Grand National specifically, it's like it's like the big horse race of the year, and and, hmm. and I've never even oh, seen a horse. Is it is it like NAS- is that like NASCAR for horses? Is that it's, the idea? It's it's like where they get all the smallest people and all the biggest horses, and they just put them together <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> and let me tell you, there's some chemistry out there. Yeah. Okay. okay. But but yeah, I, have yeah. not, I have not watched a sport. I have not watched a sport in years. Like, I watched the Super Bowl maybe, like, several years ago, just on a lark. Just as a joke. Just ironically, I watched the Super Bowl. <laughs> and that was pretty much the end. I have not watched the Olympics. I can't... People people act like I'm weird because I'm not watching the Olympics. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to be watching the Olympics. But I'm like, I it's, can't imagine a thing worse. I can't imagine a worse fate than watching the Olympics. It's, it's kind of nice to just have it on in the TV, on, on some TV nearby. Then you like, oh, watching the Olympic girls do the gymnastics is more sexy than having actual sex. It's the only the, oh, that, that attractive thing in I the gotta world. I got to give a shout out. I, I got to give a shout out to the, the women's that. volleyball team. The volleyball team is the perfect mixture of like they wear the least clothing and they're doing the most active activities. These, it's these the best. Are, volleyball, that's like, the way to go. These are like fucking these are like fucking like buff like athletes these are these are the kind of girls that played softball in college but dude compared to american fatties they're a thousand times better i there could whatever. be no comparison i don't they, 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 whatever whatever man i'm committing i'm not in i'm it. committing i'm not feeling it you know I, I that's a that's a growing sentiment i think people just being like bored of the the, the oh, oh fucking uh curling uh semifinals is up Ew, let's watch it yeah i don't know like there's a lot of shit i can't keep track of it all uh, i, I kind of like it the way gib does i guess uh, just watching it in the background, like oh, yeah. you know, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I guess like, guys. When, yeah, when yeah, I, a... I'm totally so. So in other words, put it on and don't watch it, which is something that I could probably <laughs> exactly. have a great time doing. 
Yeah. Because, yeah. oh, like, yeah. like, whenever there's, like, a big thing, when there's, like, the Ashes, which is, like, the, the cricket tournament between Australia and England, uh, mm. there's, like, uh, the, there's Wimbledon, which is obviously the biggest tennis tournament in the world. Like, something big, but, like, I don't care. But uh, I'll watch the final, and I'll be, like, glancing at the TV because other people are watching it. It's just sort yeah. of nice to know that it's a thing that's being talked about. It's just like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I, yeah. I know what's going on. You know, yeah. Gib, I have never felt a bigger cultural divide between us than I do right now with these this a the ashes. I don't the ash. Know what all right, the fuck here's the thing is. about the ashes. Um, uh -huh. Cricket is a is a big English thing, and it's also big in Australia. And uh, the, there's mm -hmm. a big fierce rivalry. There's there's other like actual cricket tournaments that go on. I mm -hmm. think I think yeah, the ashes is just England and Australia, or maybe it's everyone. I forget. But uh, the, the the thing is, the ashes is like it's literally a thing of ashes, which is the trophy because of something that happened a long mm. time ago, and I can't. Remember. I was gonna say, do, do they burn the oh, uh, the losing teams oh, and then wait, they become the ashes? I remember, I remember from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the ashes is like a wood, like an ancient wooden artifact that was burned, and like yeah, yeah, there's some. The ashes are like huh. a thing in the Hitchhiker's Guide, in like the third, in like the third book. So, sorry. Well, That's shit, important. There you go. Yeah, yeah. If anyone yeah. who knows what I'm talking about, comment and, and remind me. <laughs> Might be related, yes. But um, yeah, there's that. Uh, fucking. My, I, I don't know. This is totally a tangent. But my, uh, room, oh, my fucking neighbors. Rugby. Sorry, there's another. I'm trying to think rugby. of like culturally divide, divided things. Like there's rugby probably is not... like the coolest. Rugby is like the coolest sport in the world. Uh, yeah. And anyone who does it is like ten times more of a badass because like there's no padding and it's super cool and they just run at each other yeah. for like an hour well, and they all die. The it's other, really cool. the, the the big rugby thing is called the Five Nations because it's like it's England, it's Wales, Scotland. Uh, France and Ireland, I think, and they're all mm. like they're all big, fat, yes, tough... all well-known independent nations. Wales, yeah, but they're... Scotland. No, mm -hmm. they're they're all just they're they're big rugby ho, people, ho, ho. and they're all nearby, and they're just like mm -hmm. we fucking love rugby and eating meat and being big beefy guys, and we want to <laughs> beat the shit out of each other with a ball. Why don't Why don't and... you guys invite France to play sometime? That'd be nice. We did. That's why I but said it... France is part yeah. of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, the no. The Five Nations, you <laughs> fool. Okay, all right. But yeah, like, I... uh, the, the, the cool thing about watching a rugby match is that people, it's like the same sort of size as a soccer match, but the crowd is so, so quiet and so respectful. It's like, a, <laughs> it's more, uh, nowadays, like it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, more quiet than a fucking golf match, sometimes mm. a rugby match, when something's really... Like the you know they 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 don't do stupid chants they don't do s screaming constantly it's just like woo ah oh, yeah yeah we're watching a thing <laughs> fuck my All asshole right. fuck my asshole Let's it feels go. the the ma the, the manliest <laughs> sort of thing ever I like it I mean uh, I do like uh, uh when I go to a sporting event I like to be able to take it seriously what's happening on the field and sometimes like a lot of people I've noticed go to like football games just for like the experience of going and you know like, buying the beer and getting the food and stuff but at a certain point I do want to be able to pay attention to the actual game and be interested in what's happening down there. I mean, like, I, I, I go to football games more than anything else, which is to say, like, I've been to one in the last year. Uh, so, that's that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. I, uh, I, a, a while, yeah. when I was a little kid, I used to, like, like, like maybe, like, three or four times, I went to uh, the, the baseball stadium near my house. Specifically mm -hmm. because I liked their brand of pizza, like, the best. <laughs> so, I, so I went there just to eat pizza, and then, like, I would see, like, oh, Did there's, like, a... Did you have like, to a... buy a ticket to get in and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, but, Well, okay. Uh, but, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so that, that was cool. And I had, like, like every time I did it, so, yeah, I was just popping in and getting some pizza. Then I realized, but baseball takes, like, fucking a year. Like, it is the yeah. longest sport ever made. And it was hell. I I have been to like two or three baseball games in my life, and never ever have I enjoyed baseball. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, baseball is pretty boring. Not I a big fan. I think baseball is like the coolest sport. I think but it is not cool too. one that I ever want to watch. Like I, I think, think I think that all sports are great, and I love them all. I just don't want to watch any of them. Yeah, I think I that's the thing about baseball. I feel like baseball generates just an absolutely outrageous amount of like numbers and statistics to analyze like i feel like baseball is like people just do that i feel yeah, like yeah. baseball is like analyzed maybe like proportionally mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. than other sports I agree. and i don't know why that is i mean i'm sure except you... maybe basketball i mean i hear a lot of people talking stats with basketball I think too on the i feel like the biggest like... sports nerds are baseball nerds i agree i agree 
Um, Moneyball was a good movie. Um, there you I, go. I was just <laughs> so I was just um, all right. So I just put out a video about. Seventeen seven seventy six. Oh, which is here a story. we go with the no, shilling no, your videos. No, no, no. no. I'm not right. saying this to show my video. I'm saying no, that right, like right. the guy who mm-hmm. made that is like a big like sports nerd stats analysis guy. And I mm-hmm. and I like looked into his work and I went and I watched a bunch of his old videos. Well, they're not even. They're like a year old. And um, just going into some like weird sports happening. And his name's John Boyce. And some of them were really fucking fascinating. He he takes one where he looks at Barry Bonds batting average and he says, okay, this is so fucking good. How, and, and like a lot of his batting average is high because people just deliberately walk him because they were so scared of having him hit the oh, fucking right. ball. And so uh-huh. he's like, how good would he have been if he had not even had a bat, if he had never swung <laughs> at a pitch? And like he, he did the, st- the stats analysis and he was still the best hitter in the league by a mile. Even wow. if he never swung. <laughs> and there was, there was another one. There was like an old game in like 1916 that ended in like a score of two, a football game that was 222 to zero. And he just like walked through the whole game <laughs> and just the like absolute incompetence and like, <laughs> like, like wild, wild dogs chase the players <laughs> in the middle of the game. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was the first play of the game. The losing team's uh, quarterback got like knocked the fuck out. Like, halfway through the game, they brought him back in, clearly with a concussion, but like oh they God. brought him in, they snapped the ball it hit him in the face and he just there was okay there, there was a kicker who kicked the ball and it flew across the field hit a defender on the helmet and then the kicker caught his own kick off of the defender's helmet and scored a touchdown with it um wow. there was there was wow. a guy there was a guy who was just there to impress his it was a, a college game there was a guy mm-hmm. who like he got the ball he, he wasn't there to actually play he was just there to impress his professors he didn't know what to do he like throws the ball runs off the field hides behind a fence but there are no no it gets better but there are Why? already because he was scared but there, are, oh, there right. are already no no listen there are already two other players hiding behind the fence <laughs> <laughs> and 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 they don't want him to give away their hiding spot, so they throw him back over the fence onto the field. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. All right. So like this, this is some pretty hot shit. And um, yeah. So cool sports. Guy. So right. sports. Can, I, I was watching this, and I remembered. <laughs> I remembered that sports can be cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just filled with abject terror. Yeah, he's, and game. like there's no I don't escape. Blame him. Like he tries to <laughs> escape and then they throw him back. All right, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I uh, highly recommend. Uh, yeah, that video. What, what's that guy's channel called again? It's John Boyce. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and the video uh, is called Two Twenty Two to Zero. I, I, I will definitely watch that. But I was going to say, uh, what I the thing about me and sports is the, the, the best thing about sports. I, I do like watching football because I think the game is fun and I understand it pretty well. And I like to watch my guys. And I root for the Patriots. I'm a, I'm a Patriots fan. Yeah. Um, and, and they're the fucking dominating team all the time. So it's fun to watch your team win. So that's nice. Uh, uh, plus, I grew up, you know, close to Boston. So I'm uh, whatever i don't even make fucking excuses for this mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh uh plus my friend john likes the eagles and they always lose which is really nice but anyway what i'm getting to is that my favorite type of sports are the ones that make the players look the most attractive so i'm talking <laughs> about that's shit? right that's right i'm talking about weightlifting specifically like Whoa. like powerlifting powerlifting guys actually get a little fat though yeah powerlifting so, like, guys are way fat they're all bare well, that, mode the best sport, the best sport is competitive bodybuilding, oh my aka God. going on a stage and flexing your muscles that's, and showing how cool you are. No, that's the best sport. If you the, think yeah. those guys People, look cool or good, they you're fucked up. They, they look like they do look good. They look they like don't. They, they don't even look they human. Don't. They They're don't. heroes. They don't. Yeah. They well, look silly. They look I would really say, silly. I would say I'm a bit of like a traditional bodybuilder enthusiast, if anything, like uh, like like Frank Zane back in the, like before before uh, uh, you know fucking steroids were just like you know defined everything. Even though like guys like Arnold like are are beautiful well, and they're I, on steroids. All right. Uh, Arnold is like yes, I I understand mm-hmm. that. I, right. I've seen some bodybuilders that go so over the top that they literally look like a fucking mutant zombie bitch. Yeah, but I'm not into that as much. You know what's funny about much. those guys is that, mm-hmm. you know, they, they work out. They make every part of their body humongous. Oh, what's but, coming next? <laughs> but there's no weightlifting to make your wiener bigger. So they're mm-hmm. standing there in their underpants and these little, like, G-strings, and their whole bodies are huge, but it just makes it look like they've got little tiny wieners. 
And yeah. yeah, true. And their heads look small too, by comparison. They you can't do anything about either of those. That's why you should never work out ever. They ought to. <laughs> they ought to make them take their pants off and judge who has the tiniest wiener and give that guy the golden. <laughs> I would, yeah, I yeah just, guys, I guess... there's nothing to do but just to just to take off our pants and just <laughs> we just gotta do it. There's there's nothing else we can possibly just have to do it naked, just, guys. They should just have the who has the tiniest wiener competition. Oh, and also they're all really big and muscly for size. I, I, well, you know I, what it is. I oh, I, ahead, I kind of I wonder sometimes why is there not a biggest dick competition. I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, I'm dead serious. It's, it's, it's okay. It's so important, right? Like culturally, like like culturally, big, having yeah. a big dick is so important. And yet, there's no <laughs> big dick contest. Well, and I, I understand. That... I understand that it's not much of a contest because someone would just someone just has the biggest dick, right? Like yeah, someone, right. The same somewhere. guy would win every year. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, but like they do that with like with dog shows, right? Like dog shows, like they just show up and like whoever's got Wait. the best dog wins. Wait, like it's not like you have like to a, train well, the dog. You can't yeah. train your penis to be larger. You, you can you, you can do you some say. tricks with your dick, like cock push ups, jelk, for example. You know, <laughs> yeah, you got a jelk. Yeah, there are take. You know, I, I'm I'm on board. I'm ready to sign I, up for this I, thing. I, I thought there was already like a world record largest dick. Uh, category. Well, there is. It's there it's, is. I've like okay. This is real gay, but I've looked into, like, I've tried to find, like, video evidence of, like, the biggest dick, and you can't. Like, there is none. Like, there's, like, rumors and theories. You know, I like, know exactly what you're do- talking about, because I've looked it up, too, for scientific yeah. purposes. You look up, yeah. like, who has the biggest wiener. The it's- guy who has it will show up, but they won't actually show you it. Yeah, yeah, Jonah Falcon supposedly has a 13.5-inch right. right. dick, but there's no fucking evidence of it. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Because because all the pictures have him, like, with, like, a sock over it, or, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? It's just that- because I've- he has a really I've heard small about this body guy. It makes it look bigger. Well, this I, is like, if you guys are talking a, about the same a, guy I'm talking about, man. this is like, like an average looking dude, but he's got this monster cock that actually causes him, you know, a lot of like, it, it's like, it's huge. It's like a problem is his name that Mike it's so Mate? big. Yeah, I was just about to say, is his name Mike No, Mate? it's not Mike Mate. It's some other guy. Like, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's just Rolf? fucking, it's just fucking ridiculous to me that like, there are like, it's so important. Like we talk about having, we talk about big dicks like so much mm-hmm. in our society and they're just like. You try to find like okay, well, like show me, like show me like a a, a twelve inch dick, like with a fucking ruler next to it to prove it, and you cannot find it, even oh, though supposedly they're out there. All you can do is look at porn, I guess. Maybe That's like just... the biggest resource. Yeah, it's all shit. like it's all like weird camera angles and like and yeah, like no, tricks right, of perspective right. and think, stuff. I think, like, no, I just I, think... I just want to know for sure. Like I just want to see it like laid out before me so I can be like, oh, so 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 that's what it's like. So that's just what's co- out there. But there's no taboo. fucking proof. There's fucking no fucking cultural taboos. That's and that's the why I wonder. That's why I, I wonder about that. You know, it's bizarre. I find it I'm bizarre. With you. I'm with you. You probably have to go in person and ask to see it. Well, and then he'll show you. Let's go. Hippo, come. Well, let's, let's go on an adventure. The, let's the, go the on a quest. Club. Hell yeah! P- the re- PCP yeah, we, D we, Club. I'm, I'm ready. The reason <laughs> we I start a vlog series, Hippo yeah, and Ben's PCD. quest for the biggest dick. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a rowdy fuckers oh, cop that's, that's a road trip. Uh, you know, yeah, that's a road trip. Uh, so, but the reason I brought up bodybuilding in general is because I actually do do bodybuilding myself. You know, as as best I can, and I'm, I would consider myself a a sport guy in that. Three times a week, I go and exercise and then go running sometimes. So it's not really a sport. It's just like a training thing. That's it's kind of exercise. a separate category. That's just exercise. If you're not competing, it's not a sport. You know, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. I'm competing with myself. I always try to do my best. Yeah. I'm always yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you get, go. Get fucked, My, favorite, my yeah. favorite sport is gaming this YouTube system. Oh, that's a good one. A I'm good not very sport. good at it yet, though. No. <laughs> no, I always lose every That's, time. YouTube is the ultimate esports competition. It is. Mm-hmm. Can you about esports now, aka the greatest <clears throat> invention of all time? What do you, what do you got about esports, Munchie? Let's hear it. I, I love esports because I can do it without any work. Because video games are easy <laughs> and you're pathetic if you play them. That's. But have you tried getting into like League of Legends? That's like a that's like a month long endeavor yeah. to even understand the the gist of the game and all the fucking <clears throat> champs well, and shit. Yeah, well, honestly, I, as games, there's nothing I detest more than like mobas and esports sure. and yeah, esports yeah. of all I varieties. Hate. Mm-hmm. Well, no, mm-hmm. uh, cool. I, I've watched I've watched a few esports. Um, and they've mostly because the person I know the person who was commentating them was like a person I follow, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll have a look at this. And it was like StarCraft Two, which mm-hmm. uh, I got the gist of pretty quick because I know what an RTS is, and it's like, whoa, they're they're clicking so fast, they're you know so many fucking shortcuts and clickety clacking yeah, and moving yeah. stuff. It's pretty interesting. Um, I couldn't watch a whole tournament, but it's you know that's all right. <clears throat> 
The other one was uh, Hearthstone, which is a game that I had played. I don't play mm -hmm. anymore, but I I was really into it, and it was that was like the most potential like you could actually be good at Hearthstone because it's you, all you need. All you need is uh, to to play the game a lot. I've heard. I've I mean, heard I know that's really random, though. I've heard there's a lot of randomization. That's that's why I feel like I could do it if I just get lucky. I just like, oh yeah, I, I got uh, the card I need, and they didn't. Mm -hmm. Similar, similar yes. to Hearthstone, I I was a pretty <laughs> active follower of Magic: The Gathering in general back in the day, and tried to for for a time I tried to keep up with like professional strats and and know what like people were up to. This was in college sometime, I, and I went to like some tournaments and stuff and and just tried my hand. I had friends who were far more professional. I I had a friend actually who um he was like a judge. He was like a higher level guy, and he uh he had just. He had gotten to a place where he could do consistently as well in tournaments uh, enough to like make he like because when you win tournaments, basically you you like if you if you're the grand prize winner, you like get money. But if you just like win in general, you get a certain amount of like the rarer cards from the pool. He was able to get to a place where he could win enough that he could sell those cards and completely cover like all his entry fees and like his transportation costs and shit. So like he was he was and he just loved magic, so it was like the perfect situation for him. And he was only getting better. Uh, don't know what happened to that guy, but uh, but that was that, and that was my experience cool. but uh i would say that esports in general is fine things like competitive <clears throat> counter-strike yeah. are like kind of fun to watch but mm. they all pale in comparison to my actual favorite type of esports and i would call this a sport and that is speed running in general uh, speed, speed running is the coolest gay. no mm. it's the best it's the best <laughs> I, I love like, it so I like much speed runs i love watching I'm the, speed runs. i'm the biggest fan in the world of speed runs every gay. gdq well, is my birthday it's great <laughs> well um, before we get yeah. started talking about speed runs i just want to say uh mm -hmm. sal tv s-a-l tv he he mm -hmm. commentates tf2 <clears throat> competitive yeah uh some of that shit is really fun to watch if you like tf2 well, are you sure his Wait. name isn't salt v no uh, it's sal underscore tv or something like that oh fuck. i used to watch okay. his videos he hasn't made one in a while but there's some they're, they're kind of I... fun to look back at to <laughs> see like a okay. commentated tf2 competitive 6v6 to to, mm -hmm. to explain my background with esports real quick i fall i i watch <laughs> esports like all the time like at least like i would say like like every week if not more which is more than i play actual video games right. and uh I, I i mainly follow smash all the games and like most fps's uh right now overwatch is big so i'm watching that even though i'm not the biggest fan of overwatch you know what I, any, mm -hmm. any any fps i enjoy greatly uh, and I, I fucking love Smash. I know everything about Smash. Smash is the greatest game of all time, and it's the it's the it's the it's um, the pinnacle. excuse me, excuse me. Uh, that's a that's actually a party game. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's not, not a fighting. Yeah, game. you know, it's not really a fighting game actually. So it's you a know. Republican party game. <laughs> it, it, it has more fucking you know inputs than anything else in the entire world. Yeah, it's it, not a fighting game. It's just it's just it, 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 it's just uh -oh. it's just a baby. He's game, mad. Dude. It's just a now baby's he's game. mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Listen to the anger in that laugh. Yeah. The, the closest the closest thing to esports I do would be playing Pokemon Showdown. And I sure. it's I have Yeah, yeah. Um I, I've always kind of wanted to like compete in a tournament. I kinda like don't even know how to get started with it. But mm -hmm. like whatever. Like I, I would have no problem showing up and just like losing, but I would just kinda like to do it just just to do it. Yeah, um, uh, sounds fun. It's, it's great because it's so accessible. Like there are so many games you can play and go esports, and it, and it's so like it's so like accessible and easy to do. Like obviously, like the high level is like super you know resource mm -hmm. intensive and stuff. You have to have a great you know computer and like be right. all technical and with your hands and shit. But you know if if <laughs> like 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 in TF two you can just fucking boot up and then play for a little while and then like go in competitive mode and fucking play and it's great and it's fun. Not the not the Valve competitive mode. You can do like the normal the the fan shit because the Valve one sucks. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I mean, though. You can, you can, you. It's super easy to go competitive with games, and I love them all, and it's great. And you get mad dosh. And 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 if you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough, and you play Overwatch, so you can get on TBS right right after a Seinfeld episode. You can you can watch <gasps> the TBS tournament. I can watch Seinfeld and then Overwatch on TBS. Exactly. Oh my god, it's the perfect combination. They go together. TBS. You yeah. make you make so much fucking mad dosh playing Overwatch that frankly you can't afford not you the viewer cannot afford not to buy Overwatch right now. Yeah, you could be course. raking in the dough as a competitive MOBA mm -hmm. multi shooter bullshit game yes. worst game in the world. Yeah. You could be make you could be collecting you could be making dividends. 
And you see, here you, you see, sit. And here you sit listening to me. I know. For it, shame. You see, the, the globalist conspiracy uh, directly prints money from the Federal Reserve and distributes it to Overwatch players, mm. uh, flooding the world economy with worthless U.S. dollars, <laughs> yeah, we, we, inevitably we in drawing a, us all into poverty. We live, in a, yeah. we live in a post-scarcity world. We live, we right. live in an Overwatch-based economy now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. You know we're we're going to move wanna... on from pet, a petrol-based dollar. No, no more petrol dollars. It's now Overwatch dollars. Where, where the U.S. dollar is completely comprised on Overwatch points. <laughs> and that d- and determines your pay. What were you yeah. saying? No, you were saying I so. wanna I wanna talk about that because like Overwatch is such a huge game and I have mm-hmm. no desire to play it. But the amount of like like if you want to get big at streaming, you play Overwatch because it's the big yeah. thing. If you want to, to you know to get like if if I was playing Overwatch instead of Minecraft, I mean Minecraft is pretty big, but I would be getting like so many new followers constantly. It doesn't matter how good I am. Well, actually, mm-hmm. it probably does. But like it it, it it's like. <laughs> It's a game, and you're supposed to play it to have fun. But there are so many benefits to playing it, like, uh, like for mm-hmm. for an audience, like monetarily, that I feel some sort sort of Here's like some pu- re- some pull in, in the direction of playing it, even though I don't like it. Here's what oh, I think I about that. I think when you're when you're playing a game like super competitively, like eventually y- you understand the game so well that you stop even seeing the game, and you become like Neo in the Matrix, just seeing the ones and zeros. Like it's yeah. all fu- right. it, it all yeah, becomes fucking yeah. code to you. So I kind of think to that extent, it almost doesn't matter what game you play, because eventually you'll reach an understanding where you've just like you've just like gone beyond what the game is even supposed to be, and it, and it just be- and it just becomes like crunching numbers numbers in your head and like and doing that maybe so, I, I, so it I, I, probably I, doesn't like, matter to like a high level player what game they're even playing there should be an esports for undertale and the, <laughs> the the contest is just the winner is whoever doesn't do skeletor as papyrus <laughs> <laughs> you can the, come the up with is... any other voice oh sans i am papyrus now Yes. Yeah. The, the winner is whoever has the best time and has the best friendships at the end. Whoever enjoys it the most. <laughs> yeah. well, see, what's, what's has the most love oh, yeah. in their hearts. What, what's, yeah. that, what, what's, what's funny about the way you say that is like you're framing it like, you know, to make Undertale like a competitive thing. But that's exactly what speed running does. It makes any game into a competitive thing where it's about optimization you know, and it's strategy. Other people. And I it's love a, it's that. It's a single player game. And that means well, it's gay. It does make it competitive. Start, though. The, the, well, That's the, the, the thing, it's still the competitive. Thing, what are you talking about? The Come thing on. that I like, the thing that I like about speed runs is that like you'll take a game, you'll take a game that might take like weeks to beat, like I don't know Mario sixty four or something, and you watch yeah. a speed run that's like I don't know, beat it in like two hours. And what yeah. that basically does is take the entire experience of playing a game and compress it down to like movie length or like show length. Yeah. Well, so you can true. like experience the entire game in like you know a, in like a digestible form. Like, you can sit down and an hour later you've watched someone play you know the entirety of of banjo kazooie and you're like yeah that was that was a good hour you know you know you know ben i I just re-experienced banjo kazooie i agree that that has a certain appeal to it but i would say that like a lot of what you end up doing is like skipping content like if you can skip content in a speed run you skip that content like that's what you you want to do specific like 100 percent runs yeah 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 100 percent runs Oh, you know that's true. Some of yeah, them. Yeah, that that is true. I I just I just watched a, Mar- a Mario sixty four one the other day. That was really good. It was like two hours. I, just the parkouring was incredible. It was just it was yeah, just I saw breath- that too. I, yeah, yeah, uh, you, it's breathtaking. I, I I've been getting in, I got into this guy recently <clears throat> who's been doing a really good service of making videos detailing the the legacy of the progre- the progression of speed running world records for various oh, right. games mm-hmm. and when it started like when st- people started speed running it and how. Uh, you know, over time, people have figured out techniques to make it go lower, the time go lower and lower, and it's really interesting and really well put together, sort of like just instruction, like a like like a, a history, sort of a timeline. Those are fascinating. Uh, the, guys, are fascinating. the guy's the guy's name about... is is uh, Summoning Salt. If you type that in, you should find mm-hmm. it. The speedrunners talk about like. Like when they discover a new technique or like a new strategy that makes that like cuts their time down, they talk about it like new tech, like new tech was discovered, like yeah, a new yeah. like yeah. new technology. There's so much created. hype. I I love it. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It's well, and I love all like, the, like, like when, when you when you that's new tech. You, exactly, exactly. That that kind of that kind of like putting on a on a pedestal. It, it's like it's like giving a little pomp and circumstance to like, like these kind of like uh, these sort of mundane things that you find, and like you build a whole community around those things, and everyone's like in on the joke, and you can get in on it too, and and be like a member of a community and understand these things. It's so cool. I really love like, it. I really it's love like it. it's like this cliff here. Yeah, the way the way that I'm about to like you know do like a high jump backflip wall kick right here and like glitch through the wall like this like this technique was in development for months and it finally yeah. paid off. Mm-hmm. You know. 
know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, the way it was that, like, experimented the audience, with. The way that people, like, know that there's, like, a choke point coming up where, like, oh, this is where I make or break. Like, if I fuck this up, like, I lose five minutes off my time. Here I go. Yeah. And they do it. Everyone's like, yeah, I fucking did it. I, I really like the community aspect to I was, it, too. I was, it was watching, cool. I was watching a, a Pokemon speedrun. I don't remember what gen, but Worcester was, was speedrunning. And there mm. comes a, po- a point where, like, because Worcester's making, he's making all these strategic decisions that are going to save him time later. And then, like, he's having a, a fight and, like... He gets like <clears throat> it gets low, and then he gets a crit, and he win he wins the fight when yes, he wasn't. And yes. the crowd goes crazy and cheers. And Worcester is like visibly annoyed. He's like, "Really? You cheer? You cheer for that? You cheer for that completely random oh, thing yeah. that I had no yeah. control over? And you don't even notice like all these things that I put months of research into? Like he he says yeah, it too, and yeah. like the look on his face is like really pissed off. And I really uh, like understandable, it. but not exactly the greatest crowd reader. <laughs> but no, that's okay. Not really. <laughs> Well, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm in... yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine my surprise to find out that this professional speedrunner wasn't a people person. Was actually kind of a big fucking nerd. Like weird. Well, right? well, <laughs> shock. Uh, not, uh, not every speedrunner has to be a weirdo. I, true. you know, whatever. I, 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 I'm playing up my page for speedruns. I actually really like them as well. But I, you know, I just I like a bit of. I will say mm-hmm, the greatest mm-hmm. thing to ever <laughs> happen to speedrunning is the video streets one twelve. Is it golden eye? What? Oh what? well, there's this there's this golden eye video of this guy going beyond god mode as he's just like uh, commentating on his like w- w- record breaking yeah. uh, uh, golden eye run. I, yeah, it, it's a big meme, but I forget. Yeah, but yeah, what, what's it, yours? It, I, it, I don't it, know. What no, you're no, about. It, that, that, that's what it is. Streets. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I never even seen one thirteen, and I'm I never going fucking to will. <laughs> but by the time I got a fucking lucky break in this fucking game. <laughs> look at my look at my insane pace! I am fucking clutch. <laughs> it's he's he, right like the that fucking guy, head. He does some masterful moves for sure. Yeah. Like he has practiced this for months or possibly years. Mm-hmm. I mean, Gold has a fucking old ass game. Like that. Like these guys become little gods of the yeah. worlds that they're in. Exactly. Like it's like gods. the it's like they've lived their Groundhog Day a thousand million times and have perfected it. Mm-hmm. On a technical level, yeah. it's uh, it's just I, like I Groundhog it. Day, except they're actually aging and getting older and wasting their one life <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> that is, you know, I mean, it kind of comes back to the thing we said about video games the other day about how like like video games like if you are like a, a, a sp- becoming a master speedrunner is like sort of finding a way to become a master of something that's like not real life. It, like, yeah. gives you something that you can be master. in control of and get really great at. And, and, I mean, you know, obviously, like, you can, like, ooh, maybe you can, like, build a business. And, like, ooh, I got to, like, economically strategize, like, optimize my fucking tax, you know, minimize my tax and optimize my income. But that's fucking boring, and I want to be Super Mario jumping on Bowser and, and kicking my shit in but, as fast as possible. you know, once again, like, when you're playing it at that high level, like, it, I'm sure it stops yeah. feeling like, you know, you're, you're Kirby fucking bouncing around in Dream Right. Land. Like, it Then starts- you're thinking inputs. You're thinking yeah. inputs. Inputs, you're thinking really. inputs and you're thinking frames and you're thinking I mean, that's, about that's like how we AI. felt during the uh that's how we felt during the Dark Souls speedrun I'm, I'm sure like I yeah. practiced that so many times I was just you know like I no longer obviously I no longer had any fear of the enemies there it's just like okay this is a guy I know I need to like step back at this moment and do xyz mm-hmm. all that shit and the race that is an editing that's coming up uh you know in the Sometime. future you want to say yeah. what it is Let's keep that under wraps yeah. for now. Ra- race coming up soon, guys. Race, race war. war. Race, war, race yeah. war. Yes. Uh, okay, do we have anything more to say about sports? Or should we go to questions? Well, we haven't no, even uh, talked no. about sports. We've been yeah. talking about speedruns for the last 90 years. We've just talked about sports. Done sports is sports. fucking awesome. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna I like about to it. dunk was- the ball. Okay, go on. Okay, okay, okay. Learning, okay, okay. Here, here's my like my experience because it was not because uh, like a few years ago I was pretty like anti sports. I was one of those fucking guys like, oh, it's so fucking boring. Why would you watch mm-hmm. sports? What are you <laughs> fucking dude? Dude, go read a fucking book, my right, bros. You need to expand your mind. Hey, where do you work out? The library. I was one of those guys. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Damn. But but then I got into esports. And I realized that the, like the cool thing about sports isn't the sports; it's the players and how they evolve and like their personal like meta narratives. Sure, because, sure. Because because mm-hmm. like okay, Smash. Smash is like a fun game. I like to play. <clears throat> but the real cool thing about Smash is how these fucking gods have like like molded yeah. these fucking specific play styles and, and how they have so much fucking history. Fucking like ten years of history playing tournaments together, fighting like fighting for fucking domination just fucking like what like two years ago uh 
Hungry Box played fucking Jigglypuff. Like, the, like mm-hmm. a, a character that is, like, not usually considered a, a top tier until then. And he fucking won Evo. He fucking he won it. Evo he with, a, like, an unconventional character against fucking, I think it was, like, May- some, some, like, top tier, like, Fox guy. And it was All these incredible. so-called gods, and none of them could beat me with items on. They're all <laughs> true. So true. So true. But, but yeah, it just it, like it, the entire point of it is just to see these people grow and expand and evolve, and that that yeah. like that is the <clears throat> cool thing about it. And then there are like there are fucking like like villains. There are like people who you want to see get beaten. There are people who you want to like see like fail or like succeed. And it's all it's all about them and the way they y- use the game to like tell like stories. Kind of sports. <clears throat> sports is like this weird chaotic crucible or it's like it's like this it's like a strange excuse to like put all these elements together and jiggle them around amidst unpredictable circumstances amid this like yeah. the chaos of like a ball flying around and like weather and like random chance and like all this stuff it's it's just this it's this chaotic crucible from which like narrative can like sometimes be exactly. be, be be what's the word be like dis- distilled out of like that mm. that and also like numbers like like sports is like a, just a big thing it's just a big like black box into which like players and rules are put in and what comes out is an endless stream of data that can be endlessly analyzed by fucking nerds by sports nerds like to find to find trends and like make predictions and like discuss things and you know kind of like kind of like playing video games and speed running video games is a yeah. way to like exert mastery over a thing that isn't real like like analyzing sports statistics and looking into and looking into like the progression of like of like sports players and like and doing like predictions and stuff like that's like that also is a way that people can like look at something that's not real like it's not real life it's just sports but they can like analyze this data and be like i have come to like a great understanding about something and it's important and it's important within like a certain subset of people it's subculturally mm-hmm. important like to be able to like to know like what it means that like so and so like has such and such odds of doing whatever you know what yeah. i'm saying it's these are like the, yeah i hear you. The, these are like the points of interest i think that that are that are what drives like the continuing interest in sports and why we haven't all just gotten why everyone hasn't just gotten bored and being like i know how this ends they get the ball to the end zone and you why know? we haven't had football games that like travel the entire distance of nebraska and have states as <laughs> fucking in stone uh, in soon soon, yeah, soon we will though uh one one moment one my fav my favorite esports moment of all time that that like like embodies that like like the, like the game itself doesn't fucking matter is is one smash moment at the salty suite where this where this uh player this player known as Bizarro Flame was supposed to fight another, like, he plays Ganondorf in Melee, the greatest character of all time. And he was supposed to do a ditto of another Ganondorf guy. But he, like, he, like, flaked and he didn't show up. He was, like, sick Pansy. or something. Yeah, exactly. And mm-hmm. so they had, they got another, I got another guy to, like, fill in as, like, the Ganondorf guy. And he was, he was, like, another, he was, like, another, you know, well-known Ganondorf. But, but, like, the, the game itself isn't really the important part. It's, it's that, it's, like, it's that guy exerting his fucking dominance over the character it, like in real life, so it's like that. That match starts off like, "Hey, how, how do you like the comedy?" Like, "Hey, how do you feel?" Like, like, like the guy didn't show up, and then he said, oh, "He's a fraud. He's a fucking fraud." <laughs> and then, and then, how, like, w- like, what do you think about this match? What do you think is gonna happen? And he just said, "Easy money." <laughs> and, and then he, he did like a he did like a real life Super Smash Bros. Me, like move to the guy in real life. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. and, and, and then the match starts Holy out. The match shit. starts out like like one two three go. And then he he just does like one of Gandor's like hardest moves to pull off like five times in a row and fucking shit. eviscerates this guy in front of like <laughs> thousands of people. Meanwhile, just talking shit about how he's the greatest <laughs> yes, fucking Gandor of all the time thing and I've fucking ever heard. like like blowing him the fuck out. It's I, uh, fucking great, and like the like the game itself, like, uh, yeah, like like a, like a guy who's better than another person, like beat him in a video game, big deal. But like like the the things that are like the, the the politics outside of the game is what makes it legendary. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Wa- I saw Zero walking into like a tournament recently, and like the guy behind him was like, he no, he had a buck and he was throwing banana peels just as he walked up to the stage because he plays Diddy Kong, of mm-hmm. course. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty. Yeah, I like all that shit. I, I like when they really I like, like the buy into their scene character. Of Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I was stuff, I was man. interested, like in 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 like 
you know what? I was gonna I was gonna talk about the race that's coming up, but actually I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not gonna get yeah. into it. Right. But yeah, plenty of time for that in the future. But I would say that like uh, a, a lot of what you just talked about applies, and I, I, of course you would agree uh, to like you know normal sports as well, and which of is course, clearly why a lot of people yeah. get into it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like in principle, it's the same. Yeah, that's right. Like, like guys like Bill Burr, who I've just been listening to him a lot. Like, he's a giant sports fan. And he's always talking about like players and like their their role and like, oh, fucking so and so got his first touchdown ever. Yes, he's just so excited for this. Mm -hmm. That's uh, you know, people get into that. I I don't follow closely enough for that. I basically only follow the level of like, is my team doing okay? Yeah, Brady did it. That's oh it. my god! I mean, there's uh, so many. Me. There's so many characters. There's so many like yeah. like secondary and Thousands. tertiary and bit player characters yeah, exactly. in sports. It's, they're all mm -hmm. characters. The, the, none of them are real. They're all characters. <laughs> I, I, right. I guess you got to get into it. Like you probably pick out like you know the top players and like the MVPs and like those are the main characters. And then as you get more into it, like you start to like pick up yeah, on the nuances you know, like, of what's going on like, with more people. Th this is like one of the not a great example because it's just like one of the most famous guys in the game. But like Tom Brady, you know, like fucking quarterback of the Patriots is like he has now won like the last Super Bowl. They, it was on the table for him to win more Super Bowl champions than any quarterback in history, and he did it. And obviously, that was very exciting for me. And I was just like, I was, I was totally pumped about that. That was really yeah. dope. Awesome. So, uh, no, it's that kind of shit. It's that kind of shit. Yeah, you want to see, you want to see your guys win. Yeah. Uh, yeah you pick the, a team the best and you thing coming out of sports is the Little B song "Fuck Kevin Durant." Which <laughs> have, have any of you heard of this? Uh, maybe I don't know. Kevin Durant is basically. Well, I, I I have a very limited knowledge, but from what I can understand, this song is it's, it's a diss track, and Kevin Durant is just this basketball player, and then th this fucking guy, Little B, who's like fucking like three feet tall, just just yeah, made a, a just just made a song about how he's gonna fucking he, he's gonna fuck all the <laughs> NBA girls in the mouth and like and like destroy Kevin <laughs> Kevin Durant in a fucking in a basketball match, even though he's like two feet tall, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. I hope he does so. I hope yeah. he has already done so. Mm -hmm. Probably. All right. Probably. Uh, are we, are, did go did again, you go guys on. have like a javelin teacher in school? The javelin, javelin teacher? No. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess you don't know what a javelin is, of... Munchie? It's like a spear. It's like a spear. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, spear. oh, like jousting. You no, 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 not like fucking it. jousting. You don't throw a it's, it's, jousty it's part joust. Of, it's part of the Olympics. You know, you have like you have the discus, you have the shot put, and you have the javelin. Yeah, okay. Those three things. We got uh, learned gay. them at school. I don't. I don't know how <laughs> common that was. Uh huh. We, but, we did. Um, I was never never very good at the shot put because I had weak arms. Uh, mm. The discus it was like frisbee, and I was terrible with frisbees, so I couldn't do that. But the javelin, I got I got really far with one. I thought now I have the power to kill people, and this is great. <laughs> I, I never followed up on it, but I really enjoyed <laughs> throwing javelins. And from from then on, if I had a really long pointed stick, I would throw it. And see if it's it landed in the ground and got stuck in the ground because sometimes it did. And that was cool. <laughs> awesome. Sick. The, 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 speaking of discus, I was I was actually researching discus the other day, like like high level discus, and I I never really like, okay. thought about this, but they are like buff. They are, like buff guys. They are they are like bear mode discus yeah. throwers. Yeah. I mean, everyone's better at sports when you're just stronger in general. Yeah. True. And, and it was interesting to see them just fucking like go ham, fucking throwing. It's because discus. like the discus have to, they have to be like really heavy in order to fly straight. Mm -hmm. oh, so really? they're basically they're throwing like like um, like uh, rock or or metal frisbees basically. Mm. Interesting. It's very cool. Very interesting. All right, guys, are we done with sports now? God, what the um, fuck is I'm your tapped. problem? You yeah, fucking. Really haven't, we haven't even talked about. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What we haven't even say. talked about bicycles or swimming. We oh haven't even so many things oh, talked about the have a bicycle. Life to live. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're at like the hour mark. I like it would be appropriate to switch over to questions. Uh, but I like you know, swimming and bicycles. If we hadn't, if we hadn't just completely fucked up everything up to this point. Well, then perhaps. I, I, yeah, true, true. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Is, I'm just kidding. I I have, like I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time here with all you guys, my best friends. <laughs> yeah, all right. I fucking yeah. love ping Same. pong, even though I'm bad at it. That's it's a fun sick game. As fuck. I used to be super into great. tennis. Tennis is cool. It's like I like it because it has to do with your hands. You're, it's, it's mainly just using your hands, and I like using my hands. That's not mainly just using your. You gotta run very, around. You gotta yeah. run, yeah, run around. You know, you gotta you gotta make sure you hit the ball with your thing. That's that's the hard part. The running around isn't the part. I mean, it's just In, you Infinite Jess. Infinite Jess taught me that tennis is basically like chess and war combined. Mm -hmm. Ch it, tennis is like tennis is the ultimate test of a person's uh. mental and physical okay, prowess. Okay, the, the only thing I would say about that is that like literally from all the sports manga I have read, which is a million, 
Uh, you can make that case about every single sport ever invented and talk about yeah. the beauty of the game and yeah. my God, these rules are the best rule. Like I, I'm reading, um, I'm reading Robo Laser Beam right now, which is a uh, a shonen, shonen Jump manga by the guy who did Kuroko no Basuke, uh, Kuroko no Basuke, um, which is about golf. This is a golf high octane sports manga and like it too like because they all do goes on my god the game is fucking beautiful it's nothing is as powerful as golf uh yeah it's like i i i'm just assuming that everyone that thinks their sport is the best in the world i'm, I'm with you well, I'm on I, board. I know that that you know i shield 21 told me that american football could well be they were actually correct because that is the greatest sport in the world and i shield 21 is the greatest manga in the world so they well, were correct it's a great manga I, I, I was actually best. thinking about this the other day. I, I was wondering whether there mm -hmm. is, like, a chess uh, anime or manga. And people said, oh, no, well, they, mm, they have Shogi. They have the Japanese thing. And I was like, I right. fucking hate that fucking <laughs> weeb shit. Where is chess? <laughs> Where's the yeah. Shogi is Do, do they even shit. know? I don't think they Where even they... play Shogi in Japan. I think it's just a joke that, they, that they're all in <laughs> on and they're, not, and they're not explaining it to the rest of mm -hmm. us. Probably. Probably. I, actually, I, I have see, actually like, played... Oh, go on, go I want to see fucking Little Witch Academia Wizard Chess tournament arc. Yeah, I agree. I that agree. Would be Bring cool. out Ronald Peasley and get him to fuck up some guys. Yogi I've actually played... Bear. <laughs> He steals oh my, my god. Bacon you bacon you bacon connected bacon. the dots. You did it. He stole <laughs> my fucking pick <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Japan. Why did you do it? Why did you make Yogi Bear steal my picnic biscuits? Is there a Yogi Bear anime? There should be. There should be. Uh... It's called Yogi Bear. Oh, by right. Hanna Barbera. I hate right. him. I hate mammals. <laughs> they uh, all right. Is this guys? Let's go to characters. I like the sports. I like Super that come Smash out of Bros. Their pussy holes all warm. They're not even laying eggs. They're fucking <laughs> mammals. I hate them. I hate bears. I hate Yogi Shogi Bear. Son, I can get off my belt. It's me, Yogi Bear. I'm here to beat my children. It's what I do. I have children, I think. Wait, wait, uh, poo -poo. Pa hey, poo -poo oh, it's -a me, Yogi poo -poo. Bear. I'm Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Japanese off brand. I do stuff with picnic baskets. <laughs> what do you do with him, Shogi? Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, it good. is wabbit season, but okay. Oh! <laughs> all right, it's time for questions. All right, okay. we're going to the questions. All right, here we go, everybody. So sorry uh, that the dictator of the PCP didn't want us to talk about sports more. Sorry, sorry viewers, in case yeah, you wanted to hear so more. Sorry. It's, it's so all sorry about that. Fucking, the dictator yeah, of the PCP, Shogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, where the fuck did oh, this go? God. Uh, he, okay, here's a filler question at Joji Matthews. He only Matthews. likes picnic baskets with sushi in it. <laughs> no! Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, here, here's a slightly better question. Uh, at It's Judgment Day asks, uh, what is the oldest work of art that you are passionate about slash would recommend? The oldest work of art that's, like, good. Uh, the Magna Stonehenge. Carta. <laughs> Stonehenge. Stonehenge is, I, yeah, I consider know. that a nice sculpture-y sculpt. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, no, I like... wait, 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 the the, uh -huh. the, 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 the white horse on the hill things. What are, what are they the called? Uh, the they're Sphinx, like, they're like Egypt. old uh, Gaelic, uh, Celtic fucking English things that are like hills hmm. where they carved at, in white rock the shape of a horse and it's like huge. Whoa. Uh, that sounds really cool. I don't know cool, what but they're called. Know. Um, uh, okay, that it. thing. G Google it, guys. Uh, the, the, I'm going to go with oh. uh, the works of Mozart in general. I think I'm, I'm quite fond of them. Uh, I like listening to him. And I, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, oh, maybe the Sistine Chapel is pretty cool. I never like seen it, though. I, just I think fucking it's pretty cool. love cave paintings. They're so old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't get much older I'm, than I'm that. trying to be the oldest guy. So <laughs> whatever okay, anyone anyway. says, I'm going to say I like something older because that's like the hipsteriest. <laughs> Uh, I would say I really like the Pyramids of Giza, be specifically because they have that love sure. battleship 50 feet below it. So 50 feet below the Pyramids of Giza, there is there is a love <laughs> battleship that can only be powered in times of need. So 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 for, for for instance, if you need to battle an alien an alien race trying to overthrow the United States government in the in the 1950s, then you, a South American woman from Peru, can can mosey on <laughs> over to the Pyramid of Giza and then locate the love <laughs> battleship that 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 is. 
fifty yards, uh, fifty miles across, and three atoms thick. You you can yeah, you can that locate good. that that, that battleship. Good. <laughs> and and you can power it and 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 when one, once inside using the power of love and your aligned chakras you you can drive you can drive the aliens from your land due due to instantly making them all have the black plague that, that, that that's my favorite part about it and that's my favorite sculpture in the uh, entire world <laughs> that's good i'm going to say that my favorite uh my oldest favorite work of art is the actor william hickey this is a. Uh, he played. He's like this really scary old guy. He's the scariest oldest guy in every movie ever. He died cool, in 1994, yeah. and he's still the oldest. That's how old and scary he is. Mm-hmm. Um, he played. He was like this old man with like a haunted cat in the Tales from the Dark Side movie. The cat killed him and crawled out of his throat. It was really gross and cool. Jesus. Cool. He's like he's so he's he's got this like scary tongue. He's like ah, he's always got a scary tongue. That's his main feature as an actor. He played uh, Pete and Pete's grandfather on the Adventures of Pete and Pete. Everybody yeah, okay. go look up. Go 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 look up uh, like Artie versus the bowling ball on Pete and Pete. He's the guy <laughs> like the bowling ball kicks Artie's ass. And like there's an extended fight sequence of Artie versus this evil bowling ball and it kicks Artie's ass. And at the end of it Artie is like laying on the ground. The bowling ball is like pinning him. It's defeated him, and and like the, the grandfather comes out and he's like, "Foolish man, brave but foolish." <laughs> is this is this like Mystery Men uh, bowling ball rules where it's you know got its own will and it's flying around doing shit? Yeah, it's uh, but like like they didn't have the special effects to make it actually fly around and do shit. So it's right. all the actor who plays Artie just like pantomiming fighting the bowling ball and it's the best thing ever but yeah the guy who plays pete and pete's grandpa is my favorite work of art Mm -hmm. so canonically this character could have a mental illness and actually just think that he's fighting a bowling ball no Artie is a real superhero that is a real evil bowling ball (laughs) okay his power was too great for this world uh okay uh here we go here's the next question um this is a baffling question that i want to shame this person for asking uh it's uh at dragon ring 34 asks do you think english song are inherently worse than the original song oh of that's course the, what that's the that question mean? is this person what? implying that every song was not in english i think that's what they're proposing uh is this like an anime question or something uh, i want to shame you for asking anime related questions person do they even we don't know buy those. Sh- let's shame them for asking what we can only infer is an anime related question. You know what? There's no other explanation. I have an answer. Again. This man, his 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 uh, uh-huh. accusation is wrong. Mm-hmm. That the English song is worse than the non English song, because on the first Gorillas album, there's a song mm-hmm. called Latin Simone, and it's a song that for some reason is in Spanish. And it's just this, like, Spanish guy singing the song, and you're like, what is this? You skip it. Every time you listen to the album, you skip that stupid fucking song. But then, on the B-Sides album, the EP that they released entitled G-Sides, right after their first Mm -hmm. album, there was an English version of that song that 2D sang, and it was way better. And listen to it, and you're like, oh, wow, this is actually a really cool song I didn't know before because it was in Spanish, and ain't nobody speaks that shit. So that's why that guy was wrong about that thing he said just now. Pretty well, sick. he he said, "Do you think English song are inherently worse than the original song?" Uh, and and I, my I, I answer think... was gorillas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, shut up, dude. That's a bad question. Okay. Um, here's okay. Here's an interesting question. I actually like this one a lot. Okay. At Hero Cactus asks, well, it's not a question, but it's videos you would show at a job interview. So, which of your videos would you use uh, at a job, sort of job interview? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Mine would yeah, be... Yeah, it depends uh, on the job, of course. Uh, uh, n- n- uh, it would be the entirety of the Japanese Juggalo arc. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I, I would show the ending of my Rayman 3 uh, three part uh, where I got all the all the people playing the, the band, but mm-hmm. it's just oh, yeah. one shot. And uh, that, yeah, I, it's, if, if it's like an editing job, I'm saying, look, look at what I can do with all this stupid shit. I don't, I don't know what I'd personally pick, but for you, Gib, I think you should definitely go for, uh, like, why clopping is okay, you know, sexuality yeah, yeah. in My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah. I'd definitely go for well, that they, one. You know, that, yeah, they definitely got to know my, my stance on that. Of course. It's important. <laughs> Agreed. God, I love clopping. Jesus Christ, bros. <laughs> Agreed. I clop to not even ponies. <laughs> I, I clop, but not as in masturbate. I just, I just go to do 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 do
That's what Clawfin sounds insane. like, probably. Okay, here's a strange question. Um, at Otto JK asks, "What is biggest letdown in your gaming history?" What? Like, um, I, I why, think why do we have fucking well, that, foreigners? Like, no, no, I'll tell you. Like I, I have a great answer like to that e-sports. question. I, my, okay. my, my greatest disappointment in my gaming career was on that Digibros episode. Ben owns it mm. at Downwell. Um, right. Was the no. fact spoilers? Yeah, was the fact that I got so close and I didn't win. Oh. Um, it was like it was like right down to the wire, but I like just fucking barely didn't do it. And if I had done it, it would have been the most legendary performance of all time. But alas, uh, I came uh, so close. So that uh, was a big that was a big letdown to me. And got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I was gonna it's say that because it's, 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 it's too fucking soon, dude. It's too Chester. fucking soon, Chester. Oh, Jeez, poor guy. I was like debating, maybe it's too soon, but I bet that demon munchie will say it. <laughs> look, look, I, look I, I'm, I'm sorry the guy's dead, but to stop saying the memes that we've been saying for literally decades now so, is yeah, funny. Too, uh, well, yeah, told that's, me the no, world. Yeah, the next one. Shrek died. Like, Don't say it. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, yeah, I want to say, about my biggest gaming disappointment. I of course had to bring up my loss in the Pokemon race, which was absolutely devastating mm-hmm. uh, on a deep level. <laughs> Everyone, go watch that. And wow. the other one, the other one that that comes to mind is uh, yeah, long ago when Ben and I were first playing uh, Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Oh and we got, god! I, I know we've talked about this before. I, I think, but like, yeah. so we had gone through the whole game. I was watching Ben play as I as I used to because we were very little back then. This, I was like seven or eight or something. Uh, and Ben was playing, and we were both, we just both, I'd watched him play, like, the whole game, and he was fighting Smithy, the final boss, and on our, we was down to the wire, only Mallow, I believe, was still alive, and on, like, we, we, there's this move, Psychopath, that just tells you how much HP the enemy has. I don't and, remember uh, exactly yeah. who was alive, but I remember that the last thing that happened was we, right. we used Psychopath to see how much HP Smithy had. And he had around, like, 34 or something, ha- and the average had, like, attack nothing. did, like, a hundred, like, would have killed, if we had just attacked, we would have won. And then he killed us all on his next turn, and we wept. We wept like wee babes in the crib. It yeah. was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. Uh, but even though, like, we could have just tried again. Like, we were just such babies at video games then. We, like, didn't – it was just so yeah, sad he, to, like, lose to a final boss Yeah, because like we'd, tr- we'd been trying, like, for a long time. Like, we'd been trying, yeah. like, all day, I think. And we were, like, so, we were so close. Yeah, yeah. And it was – and to our little pea brain minds, it was just mm-hmm. devastating. And we did cried we, did and cried. We, did we get our chutzpah back up and, like, fight again immediately, like, later that day? No, I, know I think we, we did try- beat him. I think we tried again another day. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I, think, I think that was the end for, for that time, for that it session. Was, I agree. It was That's brutal, sad. guys. Uh, yeah. There, there have been multiple times where I've, I've like... Try, try, like r- tried really hard and failed so many times that I've just given up and said fuck this game I'll never play it again mm. and then you know a week later I'll pick it up yeah so but there's not like one specific one that's so notable that I can remember it I'm just I just know that sometimes I get mad at video games <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's all I know as well that's the only thing I know about video games is that they make me mad sometimes mm-hmm. but you know what easy come easy go you never shine if you don't grow mm-hmm. whatever <laughs> Incredible. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Here, here's just a question to for us to go out on. At Jam Skmain, something like that, asks, uh, this isn't easy. This is a fucking layup. Which PCP member do you think will die first? It's Mumkey. It's uh, obviously Mumkey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely He's going to kill himself. There yeah. you go. Mm, yeah. Um, any debate? Any debate about this? Actually, um... Yeah, um, I think he's a, I think he's a coward, and I challenge him to do it and prove us all wrong. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think I, I, I don't remember which episode, but I, 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 I'm just, I, I, I God, did, I'm just kidding. Please, God, I'm just kidding. I, I did. I think I, bet. Think, uh, I, think I also it, said that in a in a different episode, Ben. Yeah, in the in the suicide <laughs> podcast, I think we made bets on this, and I believe I bet that he would never commit suicide was actually my bet. You know, you know. I here's know the thing. I would, I would say, I would say. He's not going to do it. I would say that about most people, but you know what? Then you say that, and then they do it, and then you look like an <laughs> Then you get so. egg all over your face. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants that. It's you know, so I, I've been going around all this time saying the lead singer of Linkin Park is <laughs> never going to kill himself, no matter what else happens in life. And now I look like the damnest buffoon there is. You did. In the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. All right. I uh, think the the first PCP member who's gonna die uh-huh. is uh, Sai. <laughs> oh yeah. By, by the way, official announcement from the PCP: Sai is now in the group. 
Too bad he's the leader. But not for long. Too bad he just died. He just yeah. died. Well, you know, <laughs> it was a long and storied history. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> All right. We're done. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, make sure you send us more questions. Hashtag AskPCP. Follow us at TPCrastinators. Pledge to the goddamn Patreon $5 to get our bonus episodes. Best dogs. Uh, uh, what are we doing? We got, we're going to record one today, so it'll be out soon if you're hearing oh, this shit. shit. We didn't even fucking announce that, uh, that we had announcements to make. Well, oh, all those announcements were fucking gonna... boring. I was in that meeting. It was just a bunch of bullshit. No one cares. That's true. All right, here, here's the only thing that matters right now. We're going to do T-shirts, people. We're going Redbubble. I don't know the I URL because I haven't made it yet. We're well, making shirts, people. We're making we'll shirts in the with the logo. So just check the description, and it's going to be there. We, we haven't That's made right. it yet, but in the future, it will have been made. That's right. So just click on there, download. I, we I should have done that it, at the very it's beginning. It's a be logo that I cleaned up, but I made it look good. So we could edit welcome. a bit into the beginning. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll deal with that afterward. Okay, for now, uh, go buy the shirts, people. They're real. I promise you they're real. <laughs> go buy them. But it's not just shirts. You got mugs. You got you know, all the red. Red bubble's great because they just got a million things of merch. Find one that you like with the Procrastinators logo, and there you go. Buy that shit. And we'll, we're going to expand our content with more things to buy with stuff. We'll get back to more details on that in the future. And, and comment on this video what you would like to see as a merch. And we might just do it, or we probably won't. But, you know, do That's it fair. anyway, you fucking faggot. Sure, why not? <laughs> all right, there you go. We're all done. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I took him out. I, I took out the wife. I took out the wife. They're gone. They're gone. All right, start the game. Start the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to.